Well, for the 13 million truckers traveling our roads, looking for a place to stop and rest has gotten more challenging. A new mandate forces them to shut down after 11 hours of service, and many times you'll see them pulled over on interstate access ramps. Bill Snyder explored the situation. Finding safe places to pull over. Truckers face that dilemma each and every day that they're out on the road. So it's 6.50 in the morning at this particular off ramp on I-10, and you see those 18 wheelers behind me. Well, by law, after 11 hours of service, they have to pull over or face fines or penalties. Many times they have to stop on these on ramps or off ramps because there's no room at rest areas and truck stops. There's just not enough truck parking. Um, truck stops are full every single night. Night transportation has a major service hub here on the coast. They've tried to alleviate that problem with their 185 service associates by giving them what's called 25 miles of conveyance. They plan out their trip where they're going to shut down and you know both truck stops at that exit are full. Uh, it just gives them a little bit of leeway to maybe get to the next exit and find, find another safe place to park. Night has a policy where we can't park on off ramps. On the shoulder of the road, we can't do it. So if I run out of hours, we do have personal conveyance that I can use for 25 miles or one hour, whichever one comes first. While they're able to do that, some other truckers aren't so lucky, so they've got to find a place to rest. It's definitely a good thing having more trucks on the road, but at the same time, you know, it's already hard to find places to park and it just gets harder as there's more on the road. That's why you see them on our roads, especially early in the morning or late at night. There's a danger factor. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Here in Biloxi, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now.